You gotta have britches in public, man. Fantastic. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby, baby. What is a planet? I'm going to tell you the truth about Pluto. Pluto is, was, and always has been whatever you want it to be, baby. It is a wishing well for your imagination. Doesn't matter if you're Greek, Roman, American, European, or other. Pluto is whatever you want it to be, man. And one man, woman, and woman. It can either be a icy, snow-covered, rocky planet in the distant reaches of our solar system. Or it can be a little G-God representing the underworld that controls the finances and the wealth of the dead. Or it can be like a real planet made out of many forms of jello that houses really cool dinosaurs made out of gummy bears. You know, NASA and the European Space Agency spend a lot of money giving us photographs of outer space. And that's cool. People like photographs. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Because ultimately, outer space still lives in our imaginations. It's like Earth is a one-bedroom apartment, and we have been stuck in it forever. Yeah, we went to the moon, asterisk, but it's like we took one step at our one-bedroom apartment, and we're like, oh no, it is too scary. Let us not do that again. And we close the door, and here we sit on Earth, letting robots do all the outer space planetary exploration. And everybody seems to be real cool with that. They're like, who knows, man, maybe in 2030s or 40s or 50s, we'll go to Mars or something. And I'm like, man, I always wanted to play guitar on the moon in a cool hotel casino. Look back upon Earth. That seems like a fun thing to do, and I think the majority of my fellow Earthlings would agree. Like, hey, man, yeah, everybody gets a weekend partying on the moon. Common goal we could all work toward. Everybody deserves to go once. I'm talking about human space exploration. And now, man, as far as our space goes, all we know is all we can really verify is uh, we're stuck here on Earth. And uh, any information we get out of outer space from official channels and pipelines are photographs. Only the photographs really limit our imaginations. It's almost like science took gods and turned them into stones. Ceres, the goddess of life and harvest. A circular stone, gray and lifeless. Pluto, god of the underworld, keeper of the wealth of the dead. Boom, beige, cold rock, stone rock, the marbles of science, planets. And Neil deGrasse Tyson is bigger than all your marbles. Overall, I enjoyed Pluto Day, where NASA, Alan, Alice, and the New Horizons team had their spacecraft fly by Pluto and take a whole lot of data. And everybody on the planet seemed to be like, hey, Pluto. And that was cool. Because Pluto started under Clinton, continued under Bush, and then finished Asterix under Obama. All American presidents. So this could not be spun in a political direction. So 95% of people were like, hey, cool, Pluto. And there were still the 5% of people were like, hell no, it's fake. NASA's fake. Everything's fake. Well, to me yesterday, that didn't matter at all. It was just a Pluto party. And even if it was fake, it was NASA unveiling their Pluto painting. And I loved it. You know what I mean? It was cool. It was a great experience. It was better than any movie I've seen lately. So I just enjoyed a day where people who never really think about planets or celestial physics or stars all took a moment to be like, hey, Pluto. And I was like, yeah, Pluto, Pluton, Plutos. Planet, dwarf planet. A rose by any other name is still a rose. Just call it what you want, man. Planets should still be one of the categories where your imaginations are allowed to run wild. And I watched the whole process. If I had to bet money, I don't think it was fake. I don't think you could make Alan and Alice, the heads of the project, who had been on this baby for ever so long, and had dreamed of this day for ever so long, I don't think you could have made them that good of actors. They believed in it. And that helped me to believe in it for yesterday and today. So it's cool, man. We finally got a break from all the shit the mainstream media has been pumping into our brains 24-7. Non-stop. 24-7. 365. So yeah, from the photos, it looks like it's got dust, might have ice, it's got no aliens, no big surprises. That doesn't surprise me. 
What surprised me was to watch the world take a day off from the divide and conquer. So that was cool, man. That was cool. I wouldn't mind seeing it. Imagination renaissance, you know? Pluto's whatever you want it to be, man. And one man. Alright, God bless everybody. Stay cool.